Hello friends, I'm Chi. Yeah, greetings to you all, wherever you may be listening, okay? Now, I will be talking about those that have this kind of permesso di soggiorno, okay? Things you really need to know to stay out of trouble. And I believe that this has affected a lot of people. And maybe some know about it, some didn't even know that that was what happened to them, okay? So please, by the way, put the like, my one banana for Chi, man. One banana, please like for chi and also share the rest of them to your friends on whatsapp facebook i mean share the video thank you very much all right thank you so which document are we looking into by the way share the video because somebody might know somebody that's not somebody that's not somebody that has this kind of document so that, that person will not make this kind of mistakes okay which document are we talking about here we're talking about subsidiaria Hmm? Those that have subsidiary permits. It's important that you know that a lot of people have gogged. But some got out of it when they got a very good lawyer. <clears throat> very good lawyer. Now, what's the issue? Be careful of the agents that you call asking them to help you get certain documents from your embassy or even your friends who will tell you i know i know i can help you do it i know agents let me tell you some people are good in editing some people will just send the you know copy to people back home to work on it if you're a nigerian you know what i mean they'll work on it edit it put this person's name and then sign. Just editing. Now you have fake with you, right? Fake. So most documents they ask you go and get in your embassy. Make sure that you are using the right agent for it. Even if you don't trust those agents, it's better than you go yourself. Go there yourself. Now, what are we talking about here? You have gotten subsidiary protection. Questora says to you. Because most of you, I don't know, Kwesira will tell you, go and get your country's passport. You are scared. Why are you scared? Why? You are not a zero. Most subsidiary people, holders, Kwesira will tell them, go and get your country's passport. It's not a crime because you are not yet a zero political. It's a zero that I cannot get passport. Then you will tell Kwesira, uh, I'm scared. I can't because some people have misinformed you. Tell you, don't go if you have subsidiary. Some people used to think and still believe till this day that subsidiary is the same thing with asylum political because it's five five years. Forgetting that years back, subsidiary is just a permit of uh, that time. I think it's two years or three years. They just increased it to five years. It's only asylum that has always been five years. So they only increase subsidiary from two years to five years. Just like now, you see people that have two years document, whether it's work permit or motivo de familiare. When they go to renew now, they are getting three years. But way back, it used to be two. At the point, humanitarian was just one year permit. So things change. So subsidiary holders used to think that they are zero, they are the same with Azilo. No, you guys are different. So if Questora says to you, go and get your country's passport, don't be scared, they told you. Some of you say it's a setup, don't go, don't go. Tell them that the embassy will not give you. There's a people they will ask you to get. Then you get it and give to them. A people that the embassy will write and write reasons why they will not give you the passport. Because Kwesera needs a passport to use the number of the passport, details of the data page, and program your sojourner. And by the way, very important for the rest of you that think they can cut corners. This is country where technology works. Okay? So, now, what am I talking about? Get your country's passport when Questora asks you to get. Why do you want to use the Tito Viaggio? Why? Why do you want to use it? It's just a traveling document. You think it's something special? No. So now, this guy, 
told me that his own friend told him, hey, I can get you that paper. I've been doing it for people. Just give me, roger me money, I'll get it for you. Him not even knowing that this guy just edited few things, put his own name there. And the guy even have the gods, the crazy fellow, went and even signed. Can you imagine? Came to Questora, gave to this guy. This guy, that was how this guy landed into one chance. The document gog. You know? Document gogged. Because Questora detected that it was fake. That's why most of you who are doing fake passports from home or from wherever, you want to use it and apply for Sojourner. Some people did it. <laughs> Somehow they escaped it. Why many people did it? And Questora found out that the passport is fake. It was never issued by any embassy. Because you do it here, within Europe, any country in Europe here, it will carry the you know name of the country where you did it. And when they check their system, they would see that the passport is fake. It doesn't exist. Don't you know that Questora have the power to call embassy, to call the embassy and tell them to verify this passport number? To check whether your details will show up as soon as they put the barcode or the passport number. Will your details show? Nothing will show. It's empty. So whether you are doing it from home, if Questora really wants to know whether that passport is authentic, they will know. And that's why most people travel with such fake passport thinking that, ah, if Questora will be fooled, I can see this and travel and come back. They will travel and they will never come back again. They will have issues back. Because it was dictated that the passport is empty, fake. <coughs> so now, <coughs> his friend did fake for him. That people that question, I'll say, for all asylo, um subsidiary holders. Okay, if you cannot get your passport, get that people from your embassy that says that they will not give it to you based on this reason, that reason, that reason. Then you, uh, this guy, that was the people he brought for him. But he edited it, it's fake. Not until this guy waited and waited and waited. It was now a good Questora officer. Those guys are working Questora. Now called him, say, come and check, come and see something. Showed him the computer and said, look, this is fake. Look at other people's on here. Look at the original stamp. Original stamp from the embassy. This is how it looks like. Look at the original stamp from the embassy. And what is showing here in your own, it's not the same. The signature is not the same. Come on. That's where the Wala is. So that's to tell you that Questora knows every country's embassy stamp and signature, how it looks like. Because most embassies use customized signature, customized stamp. Because they do change ambassadors. So they use customized signatures and stamp all the time. So you see, if that Questora officer did not show this guy, this guy wouldn't have known that this is what has kept his document on hold for long. So that could have happened to a lot of people where some fake dudes, fake agents, just went and edited something. Maybe the ones they have done for people before, they have the copy. They just edit it, put this person's name, put rechange the date, then put the fake stamp that they, I don't know, people back home normally do it for them. So many people that have subsidiary will be suffering the same thing. Not even knowing that this it was the problem. They went and collected that paper because they don't want to get their country's passport. Because I told them, get your passport. I don't know. They are scared. They say it's a setup. Don't do it. Don't do it. Because fake friends advise them like that. Don't do it. Don't do it. If you tell them that you can't get your country's passport because of this other, they will tell you to get one paper like that. It's not the same embassy you are going to get it. The same embassy you say, uh, they will not give you, maybe you are scared of going. It's not the same embassy that see issue you don't know. So that means your embassy is not looking for you. So if Kosala tell you, go and get it, get it. I'm coming, heading to somewhere. So Kosala showed it to him, then asked him, what happened here? He has to explain everything, that somebody did it for him. Do you know the person, the phone number, the name? He has to surrender it because he will not like to suffer the consequences alone. That guy is on the run. The one that did the fake for him is on the run. Even still bragging to this guy. Ah, that's why uh, black to black, if you have black, they will not appreciate. 
they will start looking at you like bad person they will set you up who is setting who up you tried you plan to destroy this guy okay that other guy that ran away that did fake for this guy he's having bad motive he wants this guy to go and he has done it for many people because he said he has done it for many people that means he did the same fake for them and those ones they are going to go with questora there and maybe their questora is not even telling them why just like this guy questora was not telling him anything until a good guy that works there brought him into the office and showed him the laptop the computer showed him everything that this one is fake So the one that brought it, now knowing that police is trailing him, he's on the run. So imagine how many people, some fake guys must have done that fake document for. And claiming that it's from the embassy, new one is fake. So if you have anybody, any agent, if you meet the agent face to face, you style and take the agent photo. <coughs> Snap photo, get his face, save it on your phone. Hmm? Or if you can do video, video. So that in case they did fake for you. Hmm? This is general now. Any agent that do fake for you. Whether it's nationalita. Nationalita. If you're a subsidiary, that one they, they will say go and get it. Paper that shows that embassy will not give you document. That particular paper. Whether it's that one though. Or nola o style. Because there are a lot of scammers too claiming to be agents. Some of them, you pay them money, they will disappear with your money. Fake. They have done that to a lot of people. These are the same kind of fake agents that will just say, I'm an agent, I'm an agent. Before you know it, they give you fake, fake papers. Fake birth certificates. They will get all those fakes for you. These things have made people lose documents. Their documents will be gogging there. They will come, go, come, go, question out, tell them. Um, come next month, come three months time, come six months time. They are wondering what is happening now. What is happening? Something that somebody gave them fake paper. Especially subsidiary holders. So now, if you're a subsidiary holder, in conclusion, if you have done your country's passport, please, there's no need for Titolo Di Viaggio again. I don't think you need it. You don't need it. You already have the passport, which it was the same passport question I was saying. Go and get your passport. So now, you want to get it through the Viaggio. That means, for you to get it through the Viaggio, Questera will say, go and get that paper from your embassy that shows that they cannot issue you passport and they will state the reason why. So now, the same you that have passport, the same you that have passport, you are not going to get another paper that shows why the embassy will not give you passport so that you can come and get it through the viaggio forgetting that you already have passport come on what are you doing double you question you, when they now look into the system okay? when they look into the system and then find out that you have passport what will happen you'll now be like a liar right that'll be another problem for you because you're trying to mislead them it's a crime You have issues with them. They will even gog that document because now they see that you are, you are dubious in nature. You know? Why will you have passport? And still tell Questora you have to tell the Viaggio. And then they tell you, go and get passport. You say, I, I don't have. They say, okay, get that paper. That show. You say, no, embassy will not give me. They say, okay, go and get that paper. That shows that embassy will not truly really give you. Let embassy write it and stamp and give it to you. Let us believe. You still went and do it through agents. Maybe the agent self did not even know that you have passports. They just go and, you know, why you, why you, you know, corner, corner things. Get it for you. Every time embassy issues passports, they send all the details to Questora. All the people they will do passport for this month, they will give it to Questora. Next month, they will give it to Questora. Every month, they give new people passports or even renew. They send the information to Questora, to the police. You can't mislead them. So when you have passport, they know. When you don't have, they know. Huh? So that's it, okay? So be careful. <laughs> this is where technology works. Huh? 
it's not like back home where everything is manual manual okay so be careful of those fake agents that will give you fake that will make your document gog so please if your document is gogging <clears throat> you don't know why it's better you get a good lawyer that will come with you to questora not right to tell the lawyer to come with you please because it's always good when they come with you let the lawyer come with you so that you guys will go in there because that should tell you what is happening if it happens that it's fake then you provide to them the photo of the person that did it the photo and the phone number of the person even if there's a video you use style and video the person you show it to the police and say this is the person that told me he said it's an agent he can help me get it at least you have vindicated yourself even if they go to court with it you can bring out your head from the case you can rescue yourself because there's evidence that it was not you who forged it you do not manipulate it it's not fake you do not fake it somebody did it somebody you paid and you trusted did it so in that case you win the case and your document will be issued back to you so that was what happened to that guy he got back his document because the questioner guy was nice he even gave him a good lawyer so that's why you always have to engage the service of a good lawyer to bring you out of such mess in case when it happens so get phone numbers photos of the person that you are calling the agent that is going to help you just in case they do fake so that you know where to start from but if you don't have any of their detail my guy you are in trouble oh. hmm? so if they tell you give me hand to hand tell them give me your bank account details let me pay in there Sometimes those agents used to be smart. They will give you their friend's account number. Even their friend will not even know. You say, hey, bro, Sabek, my bank have issue. They are telling their friends now, oh, my bank have issue. Can I use, give me your account, Sabek. One of my friends wants to give me some small paper, small money like that. That one think is true. I say, don't worry, I'll give you five feet out of it. I'll tell you. Now surrender account. They will pay in the money. When Questora will catch this guy. This guy will now go and bring bank account and say, look at the agent bank account here he gave to me. That is how innocent person will be arrested. Because through the account, they know your address, they know your phone number, everything. They can track you down. So the friend that he took his um, account details and give to this guy that needs such document that he gave fake to, that's the person they will now come and arrest. The person like, I don't know what is happening, I don't know what is happening. It's not me, it's not me. Before he will know, you see himself in prison. Or document also seized from him. Because they will assume that he's into fraud. Because this thing maybe took some months. He can't even remember again. <coughs> so please, that's why. If friends are telling you, I beg bros, I beg my girlfriend, my boyfriend, somebody wants to put money in my account. Uh, my account too is having problem. I don't know, this is... I've gone to try to solve it. It's having an issue. Please, um, can I use your account? Don't worry, I'll give you small something. You understand? Don't agree. No matter how close you are to that person, do not agree. Tell the person to you too that your own bank too is having problem. Mm hmm. Fifty fifty, eh? Tell them like that, so that they will not implicate you. They have done that to a lot of people. Especially those ones that are into internet fraud, love scam fraud. They will go and get girlfriends in different countries, Spain, Germany, Austria, Malta, everywhere they have girlfriends. Different, different girlfriends in every city, region. You know why they do those things? Eh? Even girls are into the scam too. They use their boyfriends, numerous boyfriends to be picking the money. So when they want to pick money, they also call one of the girlfriends in France. Babe, my uncle wants to give me money. My brother that I've hammered in Canada wants to give me some money. Uh, and my bank is having problem. I don't have a bank account. Don't worry, I'll give you 200 euro out of it or 300 euro. Or 500, depending how big the money will land. Uh, he wants me to buy a car or buy a house. Or rent house and furnish. That's what the money is for. 
That one will rush and bring her account. They will throw in the money there. She's happy now. She will take her share. Not knowing that they have used her to collect money from the MAGA. From the white man they have duped. When the white man they have duped, we go and report to the police in that country. In his own country. They will track the account. And that's how innocent girl will go to jail. Because once this boy collect the money from, from her, he will just block her and throw away the SIM card. After all, they used to go and buy it for 5 euro. 10 euro. Some buy it online itself. Once they fulfill their mission, they throw away the SIM card. So the girl cannot even... <coughs> you know? She cannot even tell who the guy is. She says, my boyfriend, my boyfriend. Who is the boyfriend? She cannot even tell. Even the name she knows is fake. These guys are smart. You know that now they're even using girls to, to make guys to bring their account number. A girl will make friend with you. Girlfriend. Or tight friend. Bros now beg now. Uh, somebody wants to put money. I don't have my account. I've blocked. Blah, 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 blah. You think it's after the whole thing, the girl will give you a month to chop, eh? You will surrender your account to her. Money enter. 3K. 4K. She tell you, bros, thank you. Take 300 euro. You collect. Or you say, no, no, no. Just take it your own. You say your auntie is a soft problem. You say your uncle sent it. Hmm? It's the MAGA. Boys are using them these days. So you have to be careful who you give your account numbers to. Tell them no. Always learn how to say no as well. Is it every time you say yes, yes, yes? Why is no there? No, no, no. I as a person will quarrel with you. But you know what you are protecting, okay? You know what you are protecting. Many people who, many innocent people are in prison now. For money that entered their account, they thought their friend is telling them the truth. They surrendered their account. They, the money entered. The, the thing was traced to them. The person has even run away. You know these guys, once they commit that stuff, that crime, using your account details, the name they gave to you is fake. Once they see they have succeeded, because you don't even know where they live. Fake name. Once they succeed, they throw away the same card. They sell the phone. They usually sell the phone. That's why you have to be careful. When somebody will bring one nice good phone and say, hey, buy this phone, buy this phone for 100 euro, give me 50 euro, take this one, and I have urgent problem to solve. He doesn't want that phone to, to be linked to him. Because abroad here, they know how to track phones itself using the IMEI code number. Every phone has identification number, IMEI. You know? Because since the SIM was connected, they can extract those informations from the call the person made with the MAGA and with the girl. So now the person have sold the phone to you very cheap. You're like, wow, God has blessed me. Oh. See, as I just carry get big phone. This phone in market is 1K. This guy sold it for me for 200 euro. For 100 euro, boy. You are using the phone, the popori man. Before you know, they knock your dog. Pop, pop, pop. Come on, na poliso. They pick you up. Straight. That's how guy carry in that jail. Go court. You couldn't even prove yourself. You're like, I don't know, I don't know. Somebody sold it. Who is it? Somebody. Somebody sold it. You go explain tire. No evidence that somebody sold it to you. Because you don't even know the person. The person just came, met you in the garden. My guy, my guy. Half an hour. You start talking. From there, the person say. Please, I need urgent help. I want to travel go to Germany. I want to go to France. I need money. I beg see my phone now. I want to go there seek asylum. If you buy, just buy. I bought it one five, one two. They have committed the crime with it. Maybe even if the phone is two hundred euro, they will tell you bring give me twenty euro. Even if the phone is hundred euro or fifty, they tell you give me ten euro. Take this phone. I don't need it. I'm traveling. To you now, the phone is cheap. You just give them and take it. Not me that they have used commit crime. So please be careful, eh? Mm? Play safe to stay alive and to enjoy your abroad journey. Because being in that prison is very frustrating, you know. 
very very frustrating lifestyle imagine 20 years 30 years before you come out you're already old man you have old if you're a girl you old and you nobody even when you come out no more you're no longer attractive man forget it your time has passed so that's it, y'all. I'm out of here, man. I'm cheap. Tell me what you think in the comment section. See you guys later. Bye.